2nd Esdras chapter 14 and 14 it reads let go from the mortal thoughts cast away the burdens of man put off now the weak nature and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times call her law Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rekah HaKodash the bonus to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace, blessing, salutation to the hopefully elect on the four corners, putting in his work in faith and truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom on a daily basis to do so. And to the few sisters that are trying to receive the word of Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, and ominous meanness and silence, I say Shalom. It's a lot. Started off with uh, 2nd Ezra 14 and 14. It says, Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy into thee and haste thee to flee from these times, man. Okay. And deep, this is instructions, man. Okay. For the men of the Lord, man. Okay. We put away the mortal thoughts, man. Okay. We cast away the burdens of man, man. Okay. We, we are no longer going to be, you know, caught up in the bullshit of the world, man. We're not going to be, you know, you know, when, in, 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 With Jake, you know what I'm saying? Most of Jake living in poverty, man. We're under curses, man. When you're small, they take you, well, you can you can be anything what you want to be. You can be a president, you can do this, you can, you can do that. You can rap, you can play ball, you know what I'm saying? You can get all the holes. You know what I'm saying? That's mortal thoughts, man. Okay? That's burdens of man, man. Okay? We we are not to um that's not what we, we should have our focus on, man, okay? I should be single, man, on, on this truth, man, okay? And it says, Second Ezra 14 and 15, it says, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, you know? What, what, no, whatever, whatever's most heavy to you, man, succeeding in this world, getting a good job, six-figure job, getting the baddest bitch, you know, Jake like to get, get the Instagram bitches, you know what I'm saying? Jake still want to rap. Get a contract and get a piece and chain. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Jake still want to have swangers and shit. Jake want Instagram bitches or slut. You know. He says, set aside these thoughts that are most heavy into thee. Okay. And haste thee to flee from these times, man. Okay. You, sh you should be hasting the times, man. To flee away from these times, man. Okay. From the wars and, 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 and the pestilence and and, and man, we, our people is, is 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 out of out of whack, man. Faggots, dykes, lesbians, trannies, man, you name it. It's unlimited, right? But we hasten the time man, to flee uh, f from these times, man. Okay, because we know that we are. Um, to be diligent, man. Okay, we recognize what's going on in this, in this, in this, in this wicked ass, filthy, polluted world, man. Okay, so the, the holding on to the mortal thoughts, man, is gonna, it's gonna bring you death and destruction, man. Okay, you're, you're supposed to uh, want to find favor with Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, exalt His name. Okay, follow the law, statutes, commandments, and, and hope you find favor and get the fuck. Up out of this uh, this wicked, filthy ass place, man. Okay. So by us being diligent and measuring the time like we commanded to do, we we know not to you know, we we let go of the mortal thoughts, man. Cause we know that's gonna all come to naught, man. Okay. All that shit gonna come to naught, man. Okay. All right. You either get get ready for salvation and deliverance through the chariots of Israel, which you need to call UFOs, or get ready for the missiles, man. The pestilence, man. Okay. We go to um second address ninety one. It reads, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told." The before, okay, which you this has been written, okay, since the beginning, right? So 
Then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he had made, man. Okay? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt well understand that the most high spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, man. Okay? So, we ought to measure the time diligently in itself, man. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, then we'll know that 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 you know that the time the end is is near. Okay, all right. The end of Esau and the beginning of of of, of, of Jacob, man. All right. So we are commanded. Let me just go to Matthew. Matthew twenty four and thirty. Thirty two. It says. This is Yahweh Shah Mashiach speaking. It says, Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When the branch when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is not. Okay. So likewise, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the door, man. Okay? So we'll like the parable of the fig tree, man. When the when the branch is tender and it and it and it put it forth leaves, the summer is not, man. Okay, summer is not. Okay, understand that. All right. Let me get um. We go back to the Ezra's. So that's part of measuring the time diligently, man. Okay. And we seeing that um, when we see these things, okay, when we see these things that are, that are mentioned uh, in the scriptures, all right, we'll know that um, that the time is near. Let me go to Isaiah really quick. I should have went to this first, Salakia. Isaiah 34. And when it reads, Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people, let the earth hear that all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies, and he hath utterly destroyed them, and hath delivered them to the slaughter, man. Okay? The slain shall be cast out, and their stinks shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with blood, man. Okay? So this is the 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 things that we're seeing is 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 proof that the end is coming, man. All right, this is speaking of of, of World War Three. Well, slide. Let me go back. Let me go back to um. Let me go back to to Matthew, Salakia. Then we'll jump back to the Isaiah, Matthew twenty four and six. It says. Right, like we was reading about the parable of the fig tree when the branch uh, sprouted its leaves we know that summer is not so when we see these things that are, that are written we know that the end uh, is near okay Matthew 24 and 6 it reads and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places, diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Okay, so that's the that's the that's the branch budding leaves, man. Okay, letting us know that summer is not, man. When you hear wars, rumors of wars, which we are, psh, is this not is this not happening right now? Today's date is uh, September the eleventh, two thousand and, and, and twenty. Esau's nine eleven. Okay, well he pulled a stunt. We anyway, know that's something else. All right, verse seven: For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Man, okay, that's how we measure the time, man, and realize that the Most High is beginning to visit the world which He has created, man. All right, let me go back to uh, Isaiah ninety one, and He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I've told thee before. Okay, what are these signs? Wars, rumors of wars. 
okay? Kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation, famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places, man. They have earthquakes every every fucking day, man. The pestilence and famine is going on right now, man. Okay? As we speak, man. Okay? People walking around with masks on them because of, of corona, man. It's going to get worse than that, man. Well, damn, mask not going to do a damn thing, man. Okay? So we know that these are the signs of things to come, man. Okay? So, and we know, and, and, and us knowing this, that that these things are, are, are coming, we put away the mortal, the mortal, uh, the mortal thoughts, man, and the mortal clothing, man. Because this is just all going to come to naught, man. She's about to be fucking destroyed, man. Okay? Let me go back to Isaiah. I'm going to jump ahead too quick. Isaiah 34 and 1 and 6, it says, Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people, let the earth hear all that is therein, the world, and all the things that come forth of it, okay? For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations, his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them, and hath delivered them to the slaughter, man, a slaughter, man, World War Three. okay? The, the, the slain shall be cast out, also shall be cast out. And their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood, man. Okay, a, a complete slaughter, man. Right? Um, Isaiah thirty-four and four, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. That's the missiles, man. That's that that mushroom cloud, man. That's how he how he how he. That's what it looked like to him, man, when he when he saw it in, in the vision, man. Okay, and shall be rolled. The heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, right? When the nuclear missiles hit. The ICBMs and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off the vine, out from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword will be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and the people of my curse to judgment, man. Okay, Idumia, man, that's uh that's, that's wicked E, man. That's the pale male, man. Okay. Verse 6: the sword. Of Yahweh is filled with blood. What's the sword of Yahweh, man? The ICBM, the intercontinental, intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. That's the Lord's sword. It's filled with blood and it's made fat with fatness and the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh have a sacrifice, have us half a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Adumia, man. Okay, Basra is the chief uh, city in Edom, man. Okay, and America is the. Uh, America is the modern day Basra, man. Okay, and the great slaughter in the land of Idumia, man. Okay, that's e, the wicked E, man. The pale male, man. Okay. These are the things that we know. We, we see it coming forth, man. Okay. So why hold on to, to any mortal thoughts of succeeding in this world or holding on to anything in this wicked, filthy, uh, polluted place, man? Okay. We got to put off the immortal, man, and put on the immortal, man. Okay. Because we're, we're going to. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We would need to fight for that reward, man. Okay? We're trying to get that reward, man. We're trying to get the hell up out of here. Like the scripture said, uh, was that his second edge? Let me go back to it really quick. It's a lot. Second Edges 14 and 15, it says, And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times, man. Okay? We want to get the, 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 the hell up out of here, man, so we can get in, get, get on the chariots and, and receive our reward, man, from Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Okay? Let me go back to... Uh, Second as was nine to receive that crown, man, from Yahweh Shah Masiyak, man. You 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 rather trade this for that? Second Ezra's. It's like I'm in the wrong chapter. Second Ezra's two. And 42. 
And it reads, I, Ezra, saw upon the mountain of Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. Man, that's talking about the elect, man. Okay? The elect in the one-thirds, man. A great people that could not be numbered. Second after second and forty-three. And in the midst of them was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of the heads he sat crowns, man. That's Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who you need to call Jesus, man. Okay. And upon every one of the heads he sat crowns and was more exalted, which I marvel at greatly, man. Okay. We should always exalt Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Okay. He's going to be more exalted uh, in that day, man. And that's a man to get a crown, uh, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Put a crown on your head, man. That's 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 glorious, man. That's honor. Okay. Second Edges 2 and 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing, man. Okay? That bullshit off in the world, man. Those mortal thoughts, man. And put on the immortal, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And have confessed the name of the Most High. Now they are crowned and received palms, man. Then I said unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? And he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High Power, whom they have confessed in the world, which we do, and we, we will do to the end. Then I began to greatly commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thy seen. All right, so put off that mortal clothing, man. Put off that, that mortal thoughts, man. Put on the immortal, man. Okay? Measure the time diligently, man. Recognize what time we are in. Okay? We're in the lag. We're in the stretch of this thing, man. So let the bullshit go. Okay? We, or, or not. Or not. Okay? This is only for the elect. All right? So with that, say call the law, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Kahakwadash, the bondage of the apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace, mess, and salutation to the hopefully elect on the four corners, putting in this work in faith and truth and sincerity. And for the few sisters that are trying to see the word of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. I bid you shalom, a ba ba ba.